Hello and welcome back to AMC's The Walking Dead Christmas. But no, really, I did want to talk about the holidays a little bit. November, December, and January have something in common. That is, they have the big, three biggest holidays that are jammed down your throat in the Northern Hemisphere, primarily the United States. That is Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. And the other thing that they have in common is that November, December, and January are the three months of the year that seem to have the highest rates of depression and suicide. And I think it's because of the illusion that is created surrounding those holidays. You watch TV and you watch movies and you read stories. And Thanksgiving is this wonderful time when family gets together and they share a meal. And it's all spiritual. And then Christmas, oh, it's a time of joy and giving. And everybody's happy and joyous and pious and religious. And then New Year's and, oh, life is going to start anew. It's a new day. Things are going to get better. And that illusion is a delusion because that's not how it is. These things are totally commercialized. They are designed to sell, 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 which is what the original Peanuts Christmas Carol, the uh, the original Peanuts Christmas television special that came out in 1965 was about. It was really, if you watch it and pay attention to it, it's a protest against the commercialization of, of the holiday. So was the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special. If you remember that one, if you watched that one, what was it about? It was about explaining the difference between what we are told it is and what it actually is supposed to be. Because it's not what it's supposed to be. It's not what they tell you that it is at all. It's just a way to sell shit. And we all know it. We all know it, and we all dread it's coming because it's a false sense of obligation. They make you feel like you have to participate. They make you feel like you have to, to do something and then tell you you can't because you can't even say Merry Christmas to anybody. They're going to force me to celebrate Christmas and stick it down my throat and start setting up Christmas displays at the beginning of November and then won't let me say Merry Christmas to anybody. Why? Because of separation of church and state. Because some asshole, one out of every hundred thousand people, might be offended if someone said Merry Christmas. I don't give a shit if you're offended. Why should I care if you're offended? You offend me. I'm offended by all kinds of stuff. And, you know, I can sit here and complain about it. And that's fine because everybody's entitled to their opinion. But I'm not going to run around and try to stop anybody from doing whatever it is that they do on those holidays or any other time because I don't care why have you got to stick your nose in it it's bad enough that the holidays are fake anyways they're fake Thanksgiving is based on a lie New Year's doesn't really matter <laughs> and Christmas is based on a lie it's a pagan holiday that the Catholic Church basically uh, squeezed a square peg in a round hole to make it work it's not Jesus' birthday. Most uh, Christians and Catholics and other related religions know this. But they celebrate it anyway. And they can enjoy it if they're capable of it. I don't know how anybody is because it is so fake and because it is so forced. You know, I, I've asked a lot of people about that. And it was like, oh, how was your holiday? Do you want the truth? Not really. <laughs> Nobody really wants to know because it was miserable. It was miserable. It's not like it is on TV. It's not like it's a wonderful life. I wish it was like that. If it was like that, I'd do it every year. But there's no point. I have no fond memories of any of those uh, occasions, of any of those holidays. Um, outside of trying for my kids, you know, you try to do it for them, but they know it's bullshit. That it's All it is is an opportunity for them to get a gift. <laughs> that's, that's all they're worried about. But that selfishness in the modern age has turned into another problem. Because now you end up with these kids, as each generation has come on, you end up with these kids that are so selfish and so arrogant and so, um, so ignorant. And they don't care about anything. Think about how it is if you're old enough. I was a product of the 70s. And you look at how kids were about receiving a gift in the 70s, and then the 80s, and then the 90s. And as we've gotten further and further along in the electronic age, as we have disassociated socially and reassociated in this fantasy society 
through like Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that, people have become more selfish and more antisocial. And so the holidays don't mean nothing to them. What am I going to get? And if it's not what they wanted, they're going to act like a, like a total ass about it. No values. Um, at least back in the day, you could pretend like you had values on the holidays. <laughs> but hey, pretend, but you didn't. You didn't. It didn't matter. You tried. I don't even think anybody tries anymore. It's a total sense of false obligation. Christmas is coming. What do I have to get for people? What do I have to do? I don't have to do a damn thing. Nothing. I'll get uh, something for the kids because I choose to. Not because it's Christmas. I don't give a damn about Christmas. I have no fond memories of any Christmas from childhood. And, I, you know, I've talked to people. And for them, it's the same thing. A lot of people that I've spoken to, it's the same damn thing. Um, Christmas, ugh, God, I hated Christmas. I still hate Christmas. Why do you do it? I don't know. And then, like I said, they try to intimidate you out of it. You can't even say Merry Christmas to anybody. You put up a nativity scene and some uh, some atheist who claims he gets a stomach ache every time he sees it uh, wants to protest because of separation of church and state. And he thinks that he can get some attention, I guess. He must be very lonely. And that's not even what separation of church and state is about. If they still taught civics in school, you would know this. They don't teach civics in school anymore because they don't want you to know how government works. Chepar separation of church and state was initiated to keep the state out of the church's business. That's how we ended up here in the first place in the United States. Trying to escape the state's influence over religious practices. Not the other way around. It wasn't designed to keep, uh, to keep the church from influencing the government. It was designed to keep the government the hell out of people's religious affairs. But that's not what happened. Um, and it started with public school, of course, the evil institution. And has uh, snowballed and gotten worse and worse every year. Ever since, really, like the mid-60s, if I remember correctly. The mid-60s, with the first case about uh, separating religious practices from public schools in New York. Um, but I, I can go on and on about that, believe me. I, I should probably do a video on it. But that, that's, that's, that's my whole point. It, it's like, what, what is the, the whole holiday nonsense? All of them. Look at them. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. Do you really give a shit about any of that? Or do you just react to it? You react to it because you feel like you're expected to. Or because, like I said, some false sense of obligation surrounding the holiday. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Uh, retail giants can earn their money some other way. 